Welcome to another edition of the Ministry of Health's Weekend Review. On Thursday last, the advisor to the Minister of Health, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy, along with Vamid, discussed the maternal and pediatric hospital construction progress with officials from the International Monetary Funds and Ministry of Finance. Meanwhile, on the following day, the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center concluded a four-day prosthetic capacity building workshop in collaboration with the J.E. Simon Arctic and Prosthetic Workshop. The Ministry of Health and Prosthetical Cooperation aimed to equip technical staff with skills in lower limb prosthetics, manufacturing, and rehabilitation. Through this initiative, 33 patients received prosthetic limbs, making a successful effort in enhancing disability and rehabilitation services. On Monday, February 19th, the Honorable Minister Dr. Frank Anthony attended the opening ceremony of the Energy Conference and Supply Chain Expo 2024. During that week, Dr. Anthony also met with a number of stakeholders to discuss matters of mutual interest. Amongst those persons were Dr. Ahmed Shifkumar Tila, Indian New High Commissioner to Diana, along with doctors attached to the Midway Specialty Care Center and commissioners of the National Commission on Disability. In efforts to enhance service delivery, Minister Anthony received two DCA Vantage Siemens donation from Massey Distribution. This collaborative effort aims to enhance health care and tackle the urgent issue of diabetes nationwide. In delivering his remarks, he had this to say. Diabetes is a big problem in our country. And last year we did guidelines, new guidelines, um, where we're using HbA1c as a standard to understand what is happening with the patient. But we have had um, HbA1c mostly done at our hospitals. And we wanted to offer point of care uh, where when people come to the health centers, they would be able to get their HbA1c done at the health centers. In addition, a quantity of 1,000 packs of aid medications were donated by the United States government to aid in Guyana's COVID-19 response. During his remark, Dr. Anthony said that the value of the U.S. donation would have significantly impacted many lives. The value of this donation and various aspects of the donations would have been to save many lives and to prevent a lot of disease uh, from happening. So we're very grateful because it would have had a very significant impact on our population. Um, while we receive vaccines, uh, vaccines play a particular role, but we also recognize that while the WHO would have said it's no longer a pandemic, we still see an evolution of the COVID virus and you've had various variants and one of the variants that are now circulating is one called JN1 and we are seeing cases because of this uh, sub-variant. To conclude this week's review, on Thursday, Minister Anthony attended the flag raising ceremony hosted by the Regional Democratic Council. In providing the future address, he had this to say. This did also have another historic value. That is, it connects us with what happened deep in our history, going back to 1763, when we had the Barbies Slave Rebellion. And so, when you think about where we came from as a country, the struggles that our ancestors would have had to be involved in. And so when we got independence and then finally became a republic, it marks a very historic milestone for us. This has brought us to the end of this week in review. Until next time, stay safe and protected.